Hey there, Chad with Project's Customer Success Team here. In this video, we're going to talk about some more estimating templates, specifically what we call estimate section templates and as well cost line templates. Let's go ahead and navigate over to the lead pipeline by clicking on the lead pipeline button on the left hand side of the screen. We'll go ahead and open up this estimate that we've been working on for Glen Ree. Now when we're in here, this is what we call an estimate section. If we wanted to, we could as well add a new empty estimate section so you can get the kind of idea what a section template will look like here. Now we have this big hall bathroom remodel estimate section. This is kind of like a lump sum estimate where everything is rolling up into one price. We're going to specify just one price for the customer. If we wanted to break this out into more separate prices, we would move this into multiple sections. Um, but in this case, we're just going to actually make a template of this large section. Simply click on the three buttons on the right hand side and hit save as an estimate section template. And then we can hit hall bathroom remodel up here is what it's called by default and save this. Now if we come down to this empty estimate section, we could as well apply or insert this estimate section template that we just saved called hall bathroom remodel. And you can see now we have a duplicate that's an exact snapshot of the previous estimate section that we had. And that's how the section templates work. So you can make any sets or groups of costs, turn that into a section template and very, very easily apply that over and over moving forward. Additionally, if we open this up to an individual cost line, such as hall bathroom demo, we could hit the three dots on that, and we can see that this one is already saved as a labor template. If we'd like to edit that template, we could click on the cost line name and hit this little notepad icon. Right here, you can see we have uh, saved a whole bunch of different values. In this case, a uh, default cost per hour, uh, default markup per hour of 140%, and a default description as well as a default name. Every time we apply this, estimate cost line template, it will have all of these values. If you'd like help getting maybe your QuickBooks products and services transferred from QuickBooks into Prodrill, we can turn them into labor cost lines, material cost lines, or other cost cost lines. As you can see down here, we have the multiple options to add labor, material, or other costs. Um, we could get that into the system or if you have your own price sheet of materials or labors or different things that you use to build your estimates in any sort of Excel format, we can as well help work with you to get that into Prodrill to give you a nice strong foundation of language and jargon that you're familiar with using and get you started off on the right foot here. And that's estimate section templates and cost line templates within Prodrill. Thanks for watching.